Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to go over what every seller needs to know about renovating this year. If you're planning to sell this year, you're probably thinking about what you'll need to do to get your house ready to appeal to the most buyers. It's crucial to work with a trusted real estate professional like myself who knows the local market to get your home ready to sell. But there are a few things you should consider when deciding what to renovate and update before listing this season. Here are three things to keep in mind as you're making your list of projects to tackle this year. Number one, the number of homes for sale is very low. Housing inventory sits far below what is normally considered a balanced market. In fact, according to the National Association of Realtors, the latest data indicates inventory is hitting an all-time low. Because there's such a limited supply of homes available for sale, you're in a unique position when you sell your house to benefit from multiple offers and a quick process. But you want to do so while buyers are still scooping homes up as fast as they're being listed. Spending time and money on renovations before you sell could mean you'll miss the key window of opportunity. Of course, certain repairs may be important or even necessary. The best way to determine where to spend your time and your money is to work with a real estate advisor, again, like myself, to confirm which improvements are truly needed and which ones aren't likely to be a deal breaker for buyers. Number two, buyers may be willing to take on projects when they purchase your home. Today, many buyers are more willing to take on home improvement projects themselves to get the house thereafter, even if it means putting in a little extra work. A recent survey from Freddie Mac finds that, quote, nearly two in five potential home buyers would consider purchasing a home requiring renovations. If more buyers are willing to tackle repairs on their own, it may be wise to let the future homeowners remodel the bathroom or the kitchen to make the design decisions for themselves to their specific taste and their lifestyle. Depending on the structural condition of your house, your efforts may be better spent working on small cosmetic updates, like refreshing some paint and power washing the exterior to make the home stand out. Instead of over-investing in upgrades, the buyer may change anyways. So work with a real estate professional to determine the key projects to tackle that will give you the greatest return on your investment. Number three, your agent will help you spotlight the upgrades you've made. Over the past year, many people made a significant number of updates to their homes. The most recent state of home spending report finds, quote, home improvement spending rose 25% year over year to $10,341. Homeowners who invested in home improvements did an average of 3.7 projects, up from 2.7 in 2020. With more homeowners taking on more projects in the past 12 months, there's a good chance you've already made updates to your home that could appeal to buyers. If that's the case, your real estate advisor will find ways to highlight those upgrades in your listing. The same is true for any projects you invest in moving forward. No matter what, before you renovate, contact a local real estate expert to get their advice on what work needs to be done and how to make it as appealing as possible to future buyers. Every home is different, so a conversation with your agent is mission critical to make sure you make the right moves when selling the season. Ladies and gents, let's jump to the bottom line. In a seller's market like today's, it's important to spend your time and money wisely when you're getting ready to move. So let's get together and I can go over the must do's and must nots on your home. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next week.